Karen Alexander Banks and welcome to this edition of Auntie Karen Young Entrepreneurs Chat and this week we are catching up with Valencia Goodwin. Hi Valencia. Hi guys. Hi Miss Karen. <laughs> hey Valencia. Valencia you have been doing some amazing work. Tell the audience a little bit more about who you are and what you do. I am Valencia your favorite artist from Hopkins, South Carolina. Um, what I do, I mainly paint murals and um, family portraits um, based on commissions, and I also teach art um, currently. Okay, so we met way back in 2005 when you were a student at Benedict College. Kind of tell yeah. me about your experience with the Auntie Karen Foundation. Yes, that was a long time ago, but I remember uh, back in 2005, I was at Benedict College, and my first internship was with the Auntie Karen Foundation. I learned a lot about um, grant writing. I also illustrated a book, um, Olivia Gives a Hug. Remember that one? Uh -huh. Olivia Gave a Hug Today. Oh, yes, Olivia Gave a Hug Today. So that was my uh, pretty much my first experience uh, illustrating a book learning about nonprofit organizations, how um, everything is ran and operated. Also with um, uh, grant writing and getting funds for nonprofit organizations. So back then, I, I we commissioned several pieces from you. And uh, I, one of my favorites was this little girl, and I don't know who she is, her mom said that she didn't like puppets and we put Olivia the octopus in front of her and she just gave it a big gigantic hug. And I have that piece actually hanging in my hall. But I also have a piece of you that was a self portrait. Kind of give us an idea of your style of art and what's your inspiration for, for your pieces. Um, my style of art is a mixture of realism and I would say um, abstract art, expressionism. Um, I was trained by Tyrone Jeter, Larry Levy, and Mr. Johnson from Lower Richland High School. They taught me the basics of art and always um, taught me pretty much if um, making art to be true to what I'm painting. So the best person that I know is myself. So you'll mainly see me um, painting self-portraits if, if it's not a... Um, commission to do like a family portrait or a mural of somebody my art mainly consists of myself <laughs> okay so when you had a chance to work with the auntie karen foundation back in 2005 what kind of advice would you give for other interns if they get an opportunity to work with organizations like the auntie karen foundation for um other the advice i would give for interns um that's where I want to work with nonprofit organizations is take the experience um, as a gift because you can learn a lot. Um, you won't be paid, but the payment is your experience and the different opportunities that are uh, brought to you from getting that experience as an intern. Um, you'll learn a lot and it'll pretty much guide you into making decisions on your future. Um, what you want to do, whether you want to uh, run a business or a nonprofit organization or both. Now, right now, you mentioned that you're currently teaching. Tell us about what you're doing. <laughs> currently, I'm teaching through the uh, through the Utsi Care Foundation. Uh, thank you again. I'm currently teaching pre-K through fifth grade at Greenleville Elementary and Kenneth Gardner Elementary. Um, the experience is great. The kids, I think they're my actual kids. They always want to come home with me. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. Um, I think elementary kids are the easiest to work with because they are, uh, I would say, not so experienced with living. So you are, it's easier to teach them and um, make them appreciate art a lot more at a younger age. And I have so many students that um, I've never experienced students in elementary school trying to cut class to come to art. So that's a good sign. 
<laughs> that things are going great with um with both schools actually. Now that's one of your that's one of your original pieces behind you. Yes, this is a piece I did in two thousand. I want to say two thousand five. Um, it's a self portrait, and it's called History Repeats. The first history um portrait I did was in high school. It was a sketch of a a woman, and it's like in the in her hair. It's like slaves as cornrows picking cotton and the earrings are a man hanging but on this one it's a self-portrait of me holding my fist because i'm revolutionary and it is um in south carolina you'll see the confederate flag co comes down live it was 83 degrees and it was at 10 a.m um an artist, Nina Simone, always said, "Is as an artist, it's our duty to tell the truth through our artwork. So this is what I do. I tell my story so that it's uh, recorded visually. And this is what I came up with. Um, you'll see over the over my mouth is a piece of tape saying that I can't breathe. And that was back in 2005, and it's still happening today. So history does repeat. Sad to say, but it does repeat, and hopefully everything um, with that changes as long as everybody can unite. Because I'm I'm pretty tired of the racism around the country. It's taking a toll on everyone. So if somebody wanted to get your work, how do they get in touch with you? I missed that. If somebody wanted to um, commission your work or buy your original pieces or even prints. How do they contact you? They can email me at Valencia at soulsweetavenue.com. Um, a Facebook page called Valencia, your favorite artist. And you can also check out Soul Sweet Avenue. That's my um, business where I host paint parties, private paint parties, offer face paintings um, and murals, things of that nature. But they can email me at Valencia at soulsweetavenue.com. Thank you so much, Valencia, for catching up with us. I wish you all the best. Thank you for having me. You know I love you. <laughs>